My fiance is buying a jacket. Your fiance? Yeah. So you guys are traveling here? Yeah, we're from the United States. Yeah, I'm, I'm long past college. I'm a physician. So your fiance is American? Yeah, uh, correct. She's Japanese, living in America. <laughs> I guess we have something to ask, though. Yeah, go for then it. Can I ask, how did you meet her? Uh, Bumble. Oh, bro, let's go! <laughs> so you think dating app is uh, helpful? For... It works, yeah. I mean, you can have fun with it, but you can meet someone serious. But how can you tell if someone is serious or... Their profile. Yeah. <laughs> oh, teach me something. Like, how, how, how can you tell from their profile? Yeah, yeah, it's their photos. Like, if it's them out in a club, being goofy, stuff like that, that's just like games. But if it's like serious with family, then, then you know it's like long term. Yo, do you think there are someone <laughs> really post their family pictures on Bamboo? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, several. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Yeah. Then how long have you been dating? I think we've been together about a year and a half. We've yeah. been engaged, I think, about six months. Six months ago, you proposed to her? Yeah, correct. At what occasion? At what occasion? Uh, a national park. We were on a hike together. Stopped the hike, went down on a knee, proposed. <gasps> and are there any people? Uh, a bunch of people, watching? yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Yo, I want to watch that video. Did yeah. you take that in videos? No, no video, yeah. We just have a photo afterwards. You have videos in your heart. At of course, that forever, forever. <laughs> oh, dude! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chula from Bumble, man. <laughs> okay, have you ever seen her parents? Yeah, yeah, I think a month ago. I heard that East Asian parents are pretty... They're different, they're very serious. Like, their, their question is, what is your intent with my daughter? Like, American parents don't care, like, you can meet them. But when you meet, like, uh, Asian parents, it's like, it's serious. Like, okay, you're gonna marry this person? Okay. If you're not gonna marry them, they don't want to meet you. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I should ask this. Go for it. Before her, sure. Have you dated other Asian girls? Yeah. What what nationality? Uh, Korean, Japanese for sure, and then uh, Filipino. Uh, what about Chinese? Uh, one, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you think is the difference when dating Chinese, sure, sure, Japanese, sure, and Koreans? Like this, some like slight differences. Size differences? Yeah, it's it's the seriousness up front. Filipino seems more relaxed, more casual. Chinese is like very serious. Like within a, like one or two dates is like, are we going to marry? Yeah. Korean was more laid back. Like you meet them, you meet their friends. It's like more like casual. I feel like Chinese and Japanese are in the same extent of being serious. Pretty serious. I would say Chinese is a lot more serious. Because like they talk to their family right away. They get approval for you. Do you speak Japanese? Not a word. But your fiance speak English. Yeah, she's bilingual. She speaks perfect for both. So she's lived now in Hawaii for nine years. But okay, another question is like... Yeah, sure. You met her from Bumble, right? Sure. But at the same time, many young people, the young oh. generation... Sure. We don't believe in love. All boys are the same. Yeah. Hey, all girls are the same. All girls are the same. Okay. We don't believe in marriage. Okay, yeah. But you proposed to her. Like, yeah, do you yeah. have anything to say to those young generation who don't trust love anymore? Oh, sure, sure. You'll grow up at some point. Like, you have your fun, you use your bumble, you meet your girls and stuff, but it gets old at a certain point. Like, you want someone to, like, trust, commit to. Like, not just for Friday, Saturday night. You'll, you'll grow up out of it. So, just give it time. But you gotta have your fun first. You might be asking, how old are you? Uh, 33. Yeah, and she's 34. This is her. Here comes your yeah. fiance. Come on up, come on. Come say hi. What do you like most about your fiance? Oh, she's very honest. If she likes it, she'll say yes. If she hates it, she'll say, F this. Then, do you remember the first day you date? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It was in it was in Los Angeles. Yeah, we, we grabbed coffee and then we had the whole day together. What's the date? Ooh, the date date. Calendar date? I don't remember the calendar date. I, I'm sure she doesn't either. So... What do you... Hi. What? <laughs> Where's your first date? Los Angeles. Oh, let's go! Um, August 29th? Bro, she, she remembered. Yeah, it's a day we met when we decided to go out was 31st. Wow, um, every detail. You didn't remember? The first time we met? No. Yeah, so 29. <laughs> what do you like most about your future husband? He is simple in a good way. He likes something, he will tell. And we Whoa, can be... That, what? That's the same answer as you did, bro. Exactly the same. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> we can be honest with each other. He's not going to be offended if I say something, so I can say anything. Yeah. Before you guys meet in person, mm. how long have you been talking on the app? App? One month? Yeah, was a... Like every day. Good morning, good night. Everything. Yeah. yeah video chats, everything. Hi. So at that time, I lived outside of Houston in Texas, and she lived in Hawaii. So we did a long distance relationship. You are from different culture. Are Correct. there any arguments because of your oh, culture, culture background? For sure. Yeah, yesterday. For sure. Yeah. 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 Give me the biggest one. The argument style is different. I'm Japanese. I'm full Japanese. Asian culture, if you get mad, you don't say anything. Oh, you will right. be like quiet, right? But like American culture, like why did you say that? Why do you think that way? Talk like about talk it. about it. Like it's more like, oh, what are you feeling right now? Like why are you mad? Oh, you have to tell me everything. So and that was learn. Yeah, so I can That was a change. little bit difficult. What do you think is the key point to keep a stable relationship? You have to be really honest with each other. And you have to be really um, trust that person. Oh my God. We, we couldn't, um, oh. essentially this would never work because she travels for work and I didn't live with her. So if I didn't trust her, like she could just do whatever, go wherever. So for us, it was like just trust was everything. Another question is like, you're about to get married. Are you thinking about having a kid? Oh yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, was a, that was a make or break. Especially, oh, Japan, Japan too. Mm -hmm. Japan, Korea, China, young people don't want to get kids. Oh, oh yeah, hundred percent. The reason why I want to have kids is because I was talking with my father, and he actually said the greatest thing, which was, um, "I want you to be with somebody who you can think with kids. Mm. Um, you can imagine having kids together. That's creating a family. So true, though. If you cannot think about the kids." why you're together and what is a relationship at least like try together like overcomes the difficulties together otherwise you can just enjoy like having one night stand <laughs> like that's the same thing yeah, yeah. it's like some partners just like want to have fun or but it's just their choice yeah so i think in east asian culture sure like uh, before husband should give their money mm. to wife oh you know? yeah yeah then what about you two Right now we're separate, but we've talked about essentially having like one account and putting it in there. I personally don't like that style, like all the money is coming from a husband. That's really old style, so I want to create the family together. I want to help even financially. But it's also like autonomy, like if she wants to go somewhere or buy something or do something, it's her money, I can't stop it, she can do whatever. So it's freedom, like she has some friends that don't work and all the money comes from the husband, and so they're limited. Oh, uh, last question. <laughs> Do you have something to say to your husband? Something to say. We guys like three years later. We oh, we lost back. Ten million views. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know he's very irritated. Makes me mad. But try always be positive, honest, love each other, and the time. What about you? Uh, oh, love it. <laughs> I'd, I'd say if we give it 10 years and we were to watch this again, I think we should truly enjoy this time on this trip because I don't know if we'll ever be back here, but it's fun. So you just have to enjoy it. Thank you so much, this <laughs> lovely couple. <laughs> I mean, young people should learn from them. <laughs> because young people don't trust them at all. You can't settle down too early. Yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. If you settle down too early, there is some possibility that you might divorce. There's a hundred percent chance. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, you gotta yeah. enjoy your time, have your fun. I think young time, you don't even know who you can trust. Can you trust yourself? Like Whoa. maybe not, Challenge. right? So I think it's like who you can trust. What is your value? What is your relationship? What do you want? You have to figure out yourself first, mm -hmm. and then you have to create yourself first, and then you can trust other people. Otherwise, you don't know what you want. When I was 23, I wanted a totally different type of girlfriend. Oh my gosh, for sure! <laughs> <laughs> and if, and if I got that, I would not be happy. You're Japanese, how, how can you speak? I'm, that's a stereotype, but like back in the time when I went to Tokyo, it's like even the shop assistant, they don't speak English at all. Mm. Hey, you learned it's pretty school. rare to see such a Japanese speaking such a good English. You, you, oh, came, thank you. you came to Hawaii, but then you learned a lot in Hawaii. Yeah. It's just. She just did it, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so, thank much. You so much. much. Thank you so much. Have fun. 10 million views. <laughs> nice to meet you. Sir. Thank you so much. Hey, you so what is your uh, account? So we, we actually want to interview people from this university. Yeah. Right? So how come... How come people, are, people are being so shy. Oh. 
I think it happens too in Japan. Oh, All oh, the oh. East Asian culture, maybe. Wow. So you have to wait until the end. Then you're gonna get some good footage. It's been three hours, bro. Thank you.